Hi, this is Mello and this is a short guide on some more of LVUI's basic features. Since the last video I changed a couple of things. I enabled some more action bars like this and this. And I made some of them to appear only when I mouse over them. And on those I put the abilities and items that I don't necessarily need to have visible at all times. I've also moved some items, like for example I put the raid frames and party frames more to the center and I put the target's target frame more to the center. I want to have it like this since I'm playing a tank and specifically protection paladin. I want to be able to easily see when a party member loses health fast so I can either help with healing or use my blessings and so forth. What's important for a protection paladin does not have to be important for another class. For example if I were to play a shadow priest maybe I'd like to have my target's frames debuffs bigger to keep track on dots or if I play a fire mage, I like to emphasize my procs in some way and so forth. However you want it, LVI has a lot of options to optimize it for your class and your role. Alright, moving on to bags. If we open up our bags, you'll see that our entire inventory is in one window instead of separated into many bags. Here you can easily search for items, you can destroy your vendor grey items with one button, you can show your bags, and with the last button you can sort everything within your inventory so your items are grouped together. The different settings are pretty self-explanatory and there is not much you have to change here. I like to change my font outline from monochrome to normal outline. And I do this both on item count number and item level number. Since I think this looks nicer. Moving on to buffs and debuffs, you have your usual options here where you can change font and so forth. And on both buffs and debuffs, you can change growth direction and source method and so on. And in the chat settings, first of all on the general, there's a lot of different options you may disable if you like that. I like to just leave the settings here as they are, however I do like to have timestamps on so I see when someone said anything. One cool feature is under alert, where you can make a sound effect for when someone types a word you specify here. So for example, if I like to have a notification when someone mentions my character's name, I just type comma, percentage my name, percentage, and press OK. And then I choose oh, crap. Homer's ah oh, crap sound effect. So every time I hear that, I know someone mentions me in chat. You may also add your other character's names, for example, if you want that and so forth. Under panels, you can choose to remove the panel backdrop for that minimalistic look if you're into that. And of course you can change fonts and all that as well. Next we have data bars, which is the bars you can see here for artifact power and honor. And you also have your experience bar on the left side here if we untick the hide at max level option. And then data text. This is the information that is provided on the minimap and under the chat frames. If you hover over them, like for example your gold here, you get some information like total gold on all your characters and if you click it, it will open your bags. Clicking time will open calendar and so forth. In general settings, most is pretty self-explanatory and if we have a look under panels, you can enable and disable more of them if you like. For example, if I enable minimap top and then I choose to put coordinates there, you can see them right here. Currency is just for changing what you see when you enable that in a data panel and under time you can enable 24 hour time and change to server time if you want that. And under custom currency you can add a new data text if you want to track for example an older currency not available in the default selection. Finally in maps, there's actually not much to show. You have your coordinates and can choose position of that as you can with pretty much everything. The world map looks like this, where you have your coordinates here. And going back to settings, you can change minimap options like size and whether or not you want to have location text to be displayed only on mouse over. You can also disable and customize some of your minimap buttons here if you like that. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope this has been helpful and if you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Yeah.